Hey guys. Howdy. Okay, uh, so just want to give a quick update on the weekend. Uh, we wound up going to RustyCon on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and that was great. Uh, we met a bunch of our fans. This was your first experience at a science fiction convention, so tell us about that a little bit. It was really fun, lots of interesting people. Um, not really too much. I sold t-shirts and I just socialized with people. It was really fun. Good. You went to uh, you went to a lecture on uh, you went to a panel on um, uh, special effects. Tell tell me tell me about uh, the, what you learned from Chris Gilman. Chris Gilman. I learned. He he said something really profound. He said, "Don't see things as easy or hard. See them as familiar and unfamiliar." And I'm going to start taking that into my own personal life and what I'm doing here. Um, a lot of the stuff they talked about I had no relevance really because they're not going to be making plexiglass props in, okay. in here right. uh, unless you want me not, to, not I doubt yet. it. Not yet, not yet. Yeah. But other than that, nothing nothing really too important. Okay. Yeah. I, went, I went to a lot of panels, everything from uh, ebook publishing and just general writing and publishing. Uh, to science fiction panels and it was a lot of fun. Um, I gave two lectures, uh, presentations on uh, crowdfunding and on Liftport, kind of the past, the present, and the future of where we are with the project. Uh, we're going to make both of those available. Um, have low expectations. The video quality was not awesome, but we're going to do the best we can to uh, to clean it up for you. Uh, those are longer, so. Mm, there, there's some worthwhile stuff in there. I mean, if you want to really get into the depth of this project, there's some, there's some good stuff in there. Uh, there's some stuff in there I'm sure most of you guys don't know. Um, so, the, why, we, why do we go to these things in the first place? It's really about outreach and education and talking to our community, talking to our fans. It's a lot of fun. Um, but we also got some really good stuff out of it. I mean, some really tangible relevant stuff. Um, we got to meet with two of our Kickstarter supporters, which is always terrific. Uh, one of them, Elizabeth Gazzetti, is a comic book artist and a new author. She's written two books and five comic book artists, uh, five comic books that she's illustrated. Uh, so that was really fun. We got to know her. We'll post, uh, we'll post this picture a little more clearly in a second. Uh, it's really, really kind of fun actually interacting and communicating with our, uh, with our fans. Um, but something really important happened at this conference. And I'm going to tell you about it in a second, but first I have to give you some backstory. So, in 2005 and 2006, we wrote this book. It's called Liftport, Opening Space to Everyone. And I'm the first to tell you it's terrible. It's a terrible book. Um, the words in it, the actual content in this book, I absolutely stand by. The technical documents are quite good, and the fiction in this book is really extraordinary. So I really recommend this book. But I'll tell you the truth, in terms of a professional high quality book, it really doesn't rate. Um, we were literally the very last book that the publisher published before they went out of business. Now, I promise you, we didn't cause them to go out of business. They were, they were a sinking ship when we signed on. We just didn't know about it. Um, what this book is, is there's 20 technical nonfiction articles and 20 science fiction stories. The idea here was it would be to inspire and to educate. So that's the backstory. I do recommend it for the sense that it tells important details about the overall program and project. But here's where the news from this science fiction convention ties into the book. One of the authors was Kevin J. Anderson. Now, Anderson's written about 130 sci-fi uh, books. He's published millions of words. Pretty reputable guy with a strong reputation and a strong capacity to deliver high-quality products. Uh, 
since this book was written, he and his wife and a couple other folks you would recognize have created their own publishing company, Wordfire Publishing. So I went up to him and we got about 10 of these signed by Anderson. Collector's items. Collector's items, I think so. And we started talking about the bad old days of Liftport, where this, you know, the vision of this book came from. And he had his own experiences with the publisher, so we could kind of commiserate with that. Well, we wound up going to dinner, and two and a half hours later, we're reaching across the table shaking hands, because the deal that we developed during the course of that meal was, we want to reissue another book like this. This book is focusing on the Earth Elevator. The new book is going to focus on the Lunar Elevator. And we're going to put some links and provide some links to Anderson and some of his friends. But when you start seeing the kinds of people that Anderson works with, I think you're going to be really surprised. What we're going to wind up doing is creating an, another anthology with maybe some of the best science fiction guys in the business. So, gals, of course, gals. Um, so I'm really, really excited about this. We're going to start focusing on it probably in April. He has some stuff he has to do. He's, he's in the middle of a, uh, a set of books right now. Obviously, we have our lift port stuff that we have to do. We have a robot to build and some Kickstarter stuff to f fulfill. So we're going to start on the book in April, but uh, I'm really, really excited about this. It's, it's, uh, it's really good news. Um, I think that's about it. Anything else to add? Um, yeah, it's good. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.